I think we might need to radio the mothership. Clock and from the Collective Arts Brewing in Canada, we have a can of their Radio the Mothership, which is a double Imperial IPA, believe it or not, and it comes in at 8.5% ABV. Look at that can! The artwork on these cans um, from this Collective Arts are absolutely bonkers crazy. Um, <coughs> so, this is a um, a double dry hopped imperial IPA and first things first we would like to thank I'd like to thank Kenton or KCJ Bomber as he's better known on this channel for sending me this awesome beer with a load of other beers American beers Canadian beers for me to review and even some Russian beers so uh, a big big thumbs up to Kenton for supplying these beers he wanted to show me some of, how good some of the beers they get over in the USA and everyone so far has been absolutely fantastic you know I can't fault these beers so without further ado let's crack this open let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review I'm expecting a lot from this beer Here we go. Oh my word, look at that. It's a slightly hazy, golden, sort of burnt, yellowy, burnt orange in colour with a one finger tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh my word. Really, really citrusy, orangey aroma. Oh, it's massive. Oh, it's like, it's like really, it's like one of them sort of like um, bongo, them, them, uh, and tropical fruit drinks it's really really citrusy there's some tropical fruits there there's a bit of pineiness oh. oh i wish i had an air freshener in the car that smelt like this i tell you it's absolutely fantastic so without further ado let's dive in and let's give it a try cheers kenton a juice bomb this is a massive massive juice bomb there's a bitterness to it a creaminess to it now you can smell the resiny notes in this but you're not really getting the resiny notes as you drink this beer believe it or not um quite a smooth creaminess to it um i really, really like it it's really really nice so uh, there's three hops in this which is the mosaic the citra and the simcoe and you can really feel that citra hop coming out of it it's really really busted out and actually dry hop it with mosaic citra and simcoe as well um the malt two row carafoam flaked wheat and dextrose sugar in here now the flaked wheat is making it get this this sort of creaminess to this beer um it's it's a banging beer Tell you what, this would go well with with spicy food. This would go well with a curry, to be honest. And even though it's, a, it's bitter, 
and you got to think Elbit, you know, this is this is a hundred IBUs. There's a sweetness there that's been created by these the, these this flaked wheat, this creamy sweetness, and obviously the dextro sugar in there is giving it a bit of a sweetness to to blend and counteract the bitterness of the hops and the dry hopping. Um, there's no alcohol burn at all. You know, this drinks like it's four and a half percent. The alcohol is hidden in this beer so well. Um, you know, you've got, oh, you've got to give it to them, you know, this collective arts. You know, they, they, they have reviewed a, a, a really, really, uh, like brewed a really, really good beer here. Um, you know, I've got quite a few of their cans of beer to review over the next sort of few weeks. Um, I think we've already done one. Well, I know we've done one, and that was good. This is this is just as good. It's really, really tasty. It's it's fresh. It's clean. It's highly drinkable. I could quite easily knock back six or seven of these no problem no problem whatsoever six or seven of these cans no problem um i'm probably not have no acid heartburn or anything like that you know, just once you sunk one you just get the flow and just start sinking them no problem this this is this is a dangerously drinkable imperial double dry hop type yeah it's it's bonkers crazy I love it, Kent and I, I, I love this beer, it's absolutely awesome. And let's take our hats off to the Canadians for brewing such a great beer. Do you know, I can still get the resinous notes then piney residence notes when I put my nose there. I cannot taste them at all. It's the pininess and the resinous is really, really hidden. Um, you get a bit of the malts coming through. But all in all, you get this, this sort of creaminess there, which I think this creamy sweetness that sort of balances well with the real bitterness of this drink. Um, it's a fantastic double dry hopped IPA. You know, there's no question about this is um, this is a it's a banging beer. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I didn't really have a look, um, but I know um, it come through Beer Republic. So if you go on Beer Republic, or you better find it and and have a look and see if you can pick up a a can or a, a can on there so look see if you can find yourself a can of this try it see what you think leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks and always drink responsibly. Wow.